So this week's session we're going to look at improvising a pelvic binder. There are many really good binders out there, but if you're on expedition you're light in terms of the stuff you can carry, you're likely to be carrying a SAM splint, climbing tape or equivalent, doesn't matter, a canoe strap, some cord and the always invaluable duct tape. We want a relatively broad wrap round about the pelvis and we're trying to stabilise it to minimise bleeding to prevent further bleeding. By using the sling and the duct tape, we can create something that can be tensioned from the outside. And it should end up looking something like this. I've put tape sideways around the sling so it slides more easily as we get it in underneath our patient and also across the, the tape sling again just to save it rucking up underneath. We can use the anatomical gap as we would with a standard binder carefully slipping that in underneath our patient's knees and then we need to do the seesaw action to move it up to the line of the greater trochanters right about there. So we can stabilise our patient's pelvis gently and we just want to gently seesaw it back and forth up to the line of the greater trochanters. Often they go on too high. About there would be brilliant, just the middle of the sling. If we wrap that up and just pull the corners back so there's no sharp pressure points, I'm going to tie the cord on to one side and a round turn two half hitches works really well, but any sort of knot as long as it's secure because we definitely don't want any slippage once it's tensioned. Be careful with the end of the cord with your patient's face and we're going to feed this back and forth a couple of times just to give us a wee bit of friction and then using the loop in the sling there we can apply a gradual force monitoring your patient being guided a little by their response and we're aiming towards 15 kilograms of force clearly we can't measure that but if you've applied a standard binder then you have a feel for how much force that should be. How does that feel? Is that comfortable? It's probably not going to be comfortable for a real person because they're in a lot of pain anyway but we're looking at the benefit to control bleeding. This is a treatment to manage the blood loss internally. I'm tying off the end here a couple of half hitches and then make sure we secure the very end so there's no way that somebody can pull the end of the cord by mistake and release the whole lot. So there we go, x-ray translucent, we've stabilised the pelvis.